Hey, welcome to the Linux channel. Sometimes I do uh, get uh, uh, queries saying that uh, uh, whether I need to, you know, learn uh, C++ along with C or I just need to learn uh, C++ because it is more, uh, you know, sophisticated when it comes to object-oriented programming in relationship with, you know, systems programming because see, this is a confusion often people have thinking that uh, C++ helps uh, in order to do any system software development and uh, stuff like that. Uh, this is sometimes quite often I do get. I typically discuss in uh, uh, my mails and uh, recently when I was in chat with uh, one of my uh, viewer in uh, LinkedIn. So I told uh, there is nothing wrong in terms of learning the, uh, you know, new language. Uh, in case if he is not familiar with, it is uh, good. Overall, it will help in their, uh, you know, career. Okay, there is nothing wrong in terms of, you know, learning something where you can adopt. Uh, sometimes you can. Uh, write user space applications uh, with C++. Uh, sometimes these applications can be even a network stack or some kind of low-level uh, system stuff. And sometimes, um, of course, you can do with C itself, okay? But uh, more or less, it is not going to make any big, much difference. Uh, it may be a question how it optimizes the real code when you compile that. How it can generate an optimized code is a question. And in that way, with C, you have more finer uh, control rather than uh, C++. But if you consider, uh, if you take a Linux kernel source itself, it is uh, uh, done with uh, you know C, uh, not with uh, C++. And I have shot a long back a video episode on why Linux kernel is... Uh, uh, you know, uh, done in uh, C and uh, somewhere you will find inline assembly and uh, stuff like that. But, you know, other than that, there is nothing wrong. You can do both in C or C++. But if you ask me uh, my personal choice, uh, I feel uh, with structured programming uh, uh, language like C, uh, you can almost do anything. It depends on how is your... Uh, uh, I mean to say, how is your... Uh, approach and uh, how organized you are okay if you are not keen in terms of structuring your language uh, you know uh, uh, construct okay what happens is uh, c++ or object oriented programming looks more favorable uh, on the outside but having said you can do the same thing with you know c as well so you can uh, replace uh, like to have one is to one match you can uh, uh, consider uh, struct data structures in C as same as uh, objects and classes in uh, C++. The instance of a struct, there is no word for that and that's what we can call as objects in object-oriented programming and uh, the template of that is what we call as class and uh, when it comes to private and uh, you know public uh, APIs uh, and the variables again in C you have the static construct you can do the same thing again in C as well so if you are a beginner uh, my advice is if you have an opportunity if the company is doing something in uh, C++ you can do the same or uh, you can do the same with C as well so hope uh, this uh, video is useful uh, if you have anything to discuss uh, be in touch via mail or post your queries in uh, YouTube comments uh, thanks a lot for joining me stay tuned have a nice day bye bye